Okay, so this is how we create a multi-line name drop. Start your name drop file like you would any other single line name drop. I'm creating your list of names. And then we're going to activate name drop through the inverter settings. When you activate name drop, make sure you choose number of lines as, in this case, two. You can do many line name drops, but it gets ungainly if you try to do too many. Okay, now that we have the name drop on the screen, we can set the line's height by clicking Advanced Character Edit Mode, click Heights, and set whatever you want for the second line height. Click OK, and now you have your two-line name drop at different heights. Multi-line name drop also supports multiple fonts. Select the fonts per line icon, choose a second line, and choose a compatible font. If it's a single color font, you have to choose a single color font for the second line. And there you have it. This is how you do a multi-line name drop file.